What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Vivian Reed draft here on Magic the Gathering Online. <laughs> I think this is the least expensive Planeswalker, right? No, she's actually the second most expensive Planeswalker. Wow, what happened, Vivian Reed? You went up in value. How do you fund all these drafts? Um, I mean, I, I either win or get 2-1 pretty consistently. So that coupled with... Uh, you know, I spend three three tickets on a draft that I lose. So, yep, we're gonna take Vivian Reed. Seems like a pretty easy pick. Now we're gonna take Rabbit Bite because we're obviously green. So, although organ trafficking, not a bad way to do it. Shake it up. Ooh hoo hoo! Shake it up. Uh, yep. Yeah. All right. Ooh, departed deckhand. I'm a fan of you. It's probably just Sky Scanner here. Even though we're not in an artifact deck, it's probably just Sky Scanner. I think it's probably it's better than. I think it's better than Giant Spider because it gets us to our. It gets us to our important cards, and uh, I don't think I want to go to into another color for like Volley Veteran or Departed Deckhand. Rejuvenator seems great. Rabbit Bite seems probably better than Rejuvenator, though. I kind of want all the Rabbit Bites I can get. And another Sky Scanner? My god, nobody knows what's going on here. Guess nobody's drafting the artifact deck. Oh, I like Deckhand a lot. I just don't think it was the pick there. No, it was more condescending than that. It was like, why are people incorrectly playing Sky Scanners in non-artifact decks? And I was like... What? Yeah, I was like, wow, I didn't think the... If you saw some stuff at the PT, I'd be pretty impressed. I wonder if this could be good in our deck. Probably not, right? I think it's probably just Spark Tongue. Yeah, I want to take the Spark Tongue. I could see us being red green. That's a good. That's a good combo. Oh, and a fiery finish. All right. I want this other Spark Tongue, but I think fiery finish is probably better. It just kills everything. It's basically the red Lich's Caress, only it costs... It's only it's uncommon instead of common. And it doesn't gain you life. And it doesn't kill everything, but otherwise... Basically the same card. Guys, we got more raisins.
we're just going to take Corsair. I could take this Lava Axe because, boy, with two Rapid Bites, I'd rather start having creatures that we can Rapid Bite. Fire finishes the raisins, but caresses the grapes. That's fantastic. You are correct. Yeah, this guy's fine. Ideally, we'll get a manolith. Not a manolith, but a rejuvenator at some point. Manolith, I guess, is just a poor man's. Just a poor man's Elvish Rejuvenator. I actually don't care about Gorge. I'd rather just have the Manolith to ramp to five because mana is really important in this deck. Plus, it lets us fix. I don't care about Gorge and I don't care about the dual lands in two color decks. Like it's very rarely a concern. Getting having mana fixing issues is rarely a concern, whereas like not hitting enough lands is a much bigger concern, especially when this does fix our mana this as well. So One buck that's not even in an artifact deck. Oh, I don't know why people incorrectly donate dollars when I'm not even putting them in the artifact deck. Oh, Elvish Rejuvenator. Ooh, boy, that was a nice one. And a Titanic Growth I would have taken had I not taken this Elvish Rejuvenator instead. So these raisins are... Just like Marker Pantry Raisin, so they're like, I guess the, I think that's like the Target brand. And, um, one thing I've noticed is that, is that there are significantly more stems than there were in the Sunmade Raisins. So if you guys are, are curious, if you guys are in the market for some raisins, get the, um, get some Sunmade. Just, just splurge. Do yourself right. MCO Frank, where can I see where my Twitch Prime comes back? I don't actually know. If someone can help Mumra with that, I'm a big fan of your. Oh wow, this card's insane. This might be worth going white over. Well, grapes have stems, right? So, like, you know, when you take the grape off the stem, I mean, raisins have to have stems just because grapes have stems. This card's insane. Well, it's, oh, another Isolate, just in case we didn't get enough. I'm going to take this Luminous Bonds. That's a great pickup. I like Stag a lot, but I think Bonds is better. Oh, yes. Oh, baby. One Raisin Shill Bug. <laughs> oh, well, dang it. I'm going to take this. I'm going to take this. I cannot find it on my phone app at all. I went to the browser on the computer, and then this purple square with the heart. Yeah. Yep, yeah, just take Angel Hair. Angel Hair? Oh, he's talking about pasta again.
a lot of red cards in here. I don't know if I care. About any of them. It's probably Giant Spider. I don't think we need a third Courser. I can also see Arcane Encyclopedia. I like Arcane Encyclopedia a good amount. The thing is, I'm pretty sure we can get another Spider. I don't think we're going to get another Arcane Encyclopedia. I want to take Arcane Encyclopedia because deck like, deck like, decks like this uh, can occasionally struggle with uh, just running out of gas. Was there even axe in that pack? I don't think there was even a lava axe in that pack. Druid of Horns! It's pretty bad. I'm just going to take Pegasus Courser. Remember when we tried to make Druid of Horns work a lot in the early format? Not anymore, buddy. Not anymore. Oh, Marauder Axe. Oh, the other axe. Yeah, I like that less than, than Arcane Encyclopedia. Like, by a large margin. Um, I actually like Daybreak Chaplain here. I could see taking Naturalize, but I'd rather just have the two drop. Especially because, like, we want cards that are going to hold down the fort so we can actually uh, Arcane Encyclopedia. Looks like we made it. What are you, Josh? What are you apologizing for? I mean, I don't want to open a Palak Orm because of because of monies, but I do want to open it because of qualities, right? I'll also take an Ajani. I'll also take a Nicobolus, just because it's 20 tickets. How many Rustwing Valkans can we take? Second Vivian would be good. I'd be okay with it. This might actually be, because of the Leon and War Leader, it might be an Inspired Charge deck. I don't like one Valkan in pack three, in pack two. Like, I'm just not a fan of that. Oh, City Spider came back. I also could take Gift of Paradise. I kind of like that. I think that's better than Manolith. I think Spider's probably better. We don't need a Gift. I will take Wall of Vines, though. Oh, look, another Isolate. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, is that an unpopular opinion? I think the Ajani is straight busted. There's a lot of X... X slash X plus ones, like two threes or three fours or, or one threes in this format. And Ajani can actually make it so that all of your guys outclass your opponent's guys, which is really good. Like, making Daybreak Chaplain a 2-4 and then making it a 3-5 is pretty insane. However, I'm not going to discount the fact that Leon and War Leader is... I mean, Leon and, War, Leon and War Leader, you literally still kill it with removal. Which I think is the only... is one of the, the main marks against it. Because, like, they play it and you're just like, okay, well, I'll just kill it. But there's not that many things to kill a 4-4 in this format. Lich's Caress, Fiery Finish... I mean, even like Dwindle and, uh, oh, Detection Tower. Fantastic. <laughs> hey, more like Doo Doo Tower. All right, cool rare. I want to take this Gallant Cavalry. I like Rogue's Gloves, but I think Cavalry is better than the card where I mean, we already have Arcane Encyclopedia. Oh, Gigantosaur. Are we doing this again? Are we doing this again? Are we just taking the Luminous Bonds? I'm going to leave it to you guys. Luminous Bonds or Gigantosaur?
Wow, this is a really... Wow, this is controversial. Damn, boy, he's thick. Boy, that's a thick-ass boy. Damn. We want bonds, because I think one of those two might table. Uh, this pack's pretty rough. Oh, I love fun. Don't get me wrong. I think it's probably priest, but I don't actually like priest. I actually don't like guide that much at all. I think X2s are pretty bad in this format. I mean, this ability is cool, but we don't actually have a ton of big creatures to really take advantage of it yet. Uh, I like War Leader, actually. Yeah, that's pretty good. I can get behind that. I mean, I think Dwarven Priest is just fine. Yeah, another Rejuvenator. All right. Probably not playing the Manolith with double Rejuvenator. Yeah, this guy's pretty good. I never thought I'd be that excited over a Colossal Dreadmaw. Gargoyle Sentinel's not bad. Gives us some flight. We have a Giant Spider, a Pegasus Corsair, a Vivian Reed, an Angel. Yeah, that's fine. I'll put it in the main deck as well. Oh, Invoke for the sideboard? Beautiful. Beautiful. This guy's just looking at his raisins. Another Regal Bloodlord? I want to take that guy. Right? You know what they say about angels? That you got to give me one right now? Oh, no, you send me one. You got to send me one right now. Oh, my rare came back. Wow, who saw that coming? Yep, there we go. I did see that coming, though. Beautiful. I kind of want to take one of these three drops out. Wow, that is a late aviation pioneer. Three Falcons passed. Yeah, well, I hope someone ended up very happy. One dainty raisin nibbler buck. That is, uh... That's, <laughs> that's all I could ask for. That is all I could ever ask for. We need one cut here. Yeah, it's not an artifact deck. We can probably cut the sky scanner. Wow, this meme is so good. I'm actually tempted to cut the guide. I don't know if guide is that great. Everything else is pretty solid here. Cut nothing, run 41. We do have double Elvish Rejuvenator. Seven ten. I'm going to go 9, 8. Because double white, double white. And we only have one double green card here. Boom. Yeah, again, this deck looks really good. We got a Vivian Reed, we got a Leon War Leader. Double Bonds, double Rabid Bite. Feeling good about it, but again, we'll see how the cards fall. Chips? How the chips fall? How the potato chips fall? <sighs> Is this keepable? We have one six drop, one seven drop. They are both in our hands right now.
Uh, I don't agree with cutting Highland Game for Guide. I don't really want a, an abundance of three drops, and I only have one two drop other other than Daybreak Chaplain. I'd really like to have something to just put down on turn two. I don't think we need like a seventh three drop. Um. Oh, we're on the draw too. All right, we'll we'll manage. We'll make it work. Finland, what up? Okay, okay. Put the spells back here. We got a three, a five, a six, and a seven. If we just hit all lands from here. I guess we can hit one four drop and then all lands. Lean and war leader and all lands. I think that'd actually be good enough for the remainder of this game. Well, that got resolved pretty handily. Can't be blocked. Well, can't be attacking either, buddy. <laughs> That's a twofer. Not my favorite target for this, but I could see a 2-3 lifelinker kind of running away with this game. The name is Bonds. Luminous Bonds. Don't essence scatter him, bro. Alright, well. Now we got a game. Well, for one of us, I guess. Not much of a game for... The rest of us. Well, we're not going to get in there with the Rhino. Hey, Dill Pickle. <laughs> oh my god, with the Emily emote. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, man. Gas. That's actually a pretty good draw, because we could just play this, start drawing some cards. Yeah. Yeah! Come at me, Talarian Scholar. That would seem aggressive, especially when it's holding back this Rock's Oracle. Hmm. We're going to take it nice and slow. I guess we can wait. Get in there with Corsi. I think that is Frank. Vivian don't like being befuddled. What does that even mean, Julian? What? I mean, you can have this. I'm not going to waste an inspired charge on that nerd. Oh, biscuits. Well, let's see what happens here.
That's a good one. Hmm. Four, five, six, seven, eight mana. One more land. We can play both of these. But <laughs> you're going to kill that enchant. <laughs> oh, boy. You ain't wrong. God, do they have cancel? I don't think they do. Oh, they didn't have it. <laughs> I can never understand my streamers whose names rhyme with Hank Demore. Uh, play cards like Arcane Encyclopedia and non artifact I don't understand it either. Like, I don't have any Scholar of Secrets. I don't know what the point of this card is. Uh, pass. They don't have any creatures on the board. I don't get this. I don't get this Vivian Westwood reference. Oh, that guy's not going to do it. See, okay, here's here's a funny meme. I don't understand people who like Gearsmith Prodigy in non-artifact decks. That's a meme. Because that's just true. I guess it's a fact, right? Well, I guess we're just going to draw a free card here. Uh Oh, look, I'll take a Sky Scanner. We can play Angel and keep up Inspired Charge. That probably just kills them, right? It's always darkest before the Angel of the Dawn. This guy's just 9 power by itself, so unless you like... Now nah, you're dead. We didn't even have to show them this guy. So you take five, six, seven. Nah. Bo -bo 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 Boomsies. I'll just end the game here. Our deck's pretty good. He says that every draft. He's like, oh, he's always like, our deck's pretty good. Our deck's pretty good. And then he makes chicken noise afterwards. It's very strange. The whole experience is very odd. Yeah, I'll keep this hand. Oh, they went to six? Not against this deck, buddy. Maybe keep? I don't know. It's up. It's. It's one of these jobbies. Well, we're definitely playing Courser here because... And then we can go Skyscanner into Angel. God, that's so much damage. Also, this guy's great because we have uh, Invoke in the deck now. So we've seen this, Dwindle, and Aether McMathers. Mm, I like that actually a little bit better than Skyscanner here. I will Lesson Scatter it. Well, good, then I'll get in there. Well, not attacking now. Uh, we sideboarded by bringing in Invoke. That's pretty much all we did.
Invoke one time. Eh, Luminous Bond's not terrible. <sighs> Pretty sure it's just Angel here. So, we're going to give Flight to you. If you want to block here, that's fine. Otherwise, you take seven. Sure. All right. Top three in the bin. You draw three cards. That's pretty good. Still feel like we're doing pretty good here. I was literally going to say, unless they have Cleansing Nova. I didn't say it, though, because I was like, it's a rare. What are the odds they have that card? <sighs> Twice in two drafts. Pretty good. Wow, they just hit Vivian Reed, Leon and Warleader, and Planes. I pretty sure we actually just can't win at this point. <laughs> yeah, we're just going to go to the next game. All right, that was amazing. They mill these three. We draw Colossal Dreadmaw and we can't even play it. Okay. Wow. Wow. Yep, just going to submit like this. This hand is significantly worse than our first. This is pretty good, though. All right, well. Oh, 100% saving revoke until for patient rebuilding. Yeah, like we have no reason to use it on a 3-3 uh, three, three ground guy. I don't think that should be a concern at all. What in the hell? This is so weird. This is game three. Yep. Probably going to bonds on this thing. It's very good. And we're also one man away from Vivian reading. Vivian reading. Vivian reading rainbow. I heard you were cool. Are you cool? Um, I'm going to be honest. I don't feel like it's for me to say whether I'm cool or not. I let other people be the, be the judge of my coolness. Take a look, it's in a tree, Vivian Reed. Is that how that goes? I feel like that's probably how that goes. Is this a make a stand turn? All right, waste your make a stand. Sure. Seems good. I'll take it. Would not have minded a land. We can either definitely get this dude off the board or play a Sentinel, which is probably better.
Yep. I will block. Oh, I can't block that guy. Touche. Land. Well, that's kind of like a land. They're really setting us up for this uh, Vivian Reed here. We are playing 17 lands. That is correct. I imagine, I imagine our opponent is too, so we're kind of in the same boat, I guess, but... Welp. Guess we're taking four and then rabid biting that guy. Yep, just gonna pass here. I don't see any incentive. Actually, we could deal th now they're at 22, we're at seven. I don't see any incentive to taking an extra point going to six here. Vivian Reed here would be insane, but of course we didn't get a land. <laughs> so I guess we'll just... Like Vivian Reed, we kill this, and then they actually don't have any preferable attacks. And we get to actually uh, sit back a turn and start ticking up, but... Nope. Turn eight. Five, we've activated on six, seven, and yeah. So we've missed four activations of Vivian Reed just because we can't hit a fifth land. Yep. Do they have a counter? And now we've hit it, but they haven't played anything. So if they have a counter spell, this is pretty terrible. Oh my god. The actual one turn that they didn't play anything. Previously they played this. The turn before that they played this. The turn before that they played this. The one turn they have nothing to play is the one turn we draw the land to blow the Vivian Reed. can't even wrap my head around like <sighs> I mean we didn't have to we could play Courser but I'm there we had no information that they would have had cancel we just had to assume they did they just didn't play <sighs> mm -hmm. Well, they don't have knights, I guess, so that's good. Yeah, we're just... I mean, we're just going to lose this game. Like, it's... So again, our deck is insane. Most people have who, who joined the stream and said, I can't believe uh, this deck looks insane. And we get to lose because we don't hit our fifth land for four turns. Yeah, Vigilant Knight's probably not great by itself. But, I mean, it's still a 3-4. We attack with these two. It's probably just better to attack with this. They have four attackers. We have, well, they have three attackers we can block. Of course, we'd have Vivian Reed for their patient or building as well. Like, it's literally... The one turn they conveniently don't have something to cast when they have four mana is the turn that they 
uh, is the turn we get to play Vivian Reed. If Magic gave us a land any turn sooner, we would have just played Vivian Reed, and it would have been the same turn that they tapped out. It's just, it's not even a strategy decision. It's not like I got outplayed there. They just happened to have their mana open, and they had they happened to have nothing to play the turn we drew our fifth land. So it just worked out perfectly. Um, it's just so infuriating. Oh, I see. Well, make a stands in the graveyard, so I guess we'll... Sure. Oh, you're just going to Cleansing Nova. I see. Might as well throw your other rare out there, I guess. Sure. <sighs> Actually done. All right. Good times, good times. Sorry, guys, if you guys are watching any too, I'm so, I apologize for the salt or the uh, the the disappointment. Um, just actually ridiculous. I just, I get to the point where I'm like, I can't draft a better deck than this. I don't know what you want. I don't know what you want from me, Magic. I, I can't do it. It doesn't exist. All right. Well, let's see if we can draw land number three so we can hit any of these things. Hey, wow. Essence Scatter? Essence Scatter this guy. Put him in the graveyard. No, Seraphs. All right. The pessimism is real right now, guys. I apologize in advance. Oh, I see. Classic Frank Jeff, don't draw lands game one, and then 40 oh the other two opponents with a nuts deck. Yeah. Uh, what? This? Oh, they're clearly playing artifact deck. We could wait to play this, but I'd rather just get the 3-3 three, three flyer down. Especially when we got 6 power vigilance. Any chance we can see the deck? What's the curve like? Uh, good. Oh, you got a little sky scanner back. Guess it is an artifact deck after all. Yeah, well, Magic Gods were angry when I didn't pass the Gigantosaurus as well, so I guess they're never. There's no pleasing the Magic Gods, unfortunately. Uh, what deck do I like most in the current standard format? None, really. I don't. I, I don't actually play enough standard to have an have an insight on that, unfortunately. I want to land so we can also play Courser here. If you play Angel of Down, Angel of 
Angel of Dawn there, it means your knights get double. Yeah, they get double vigilance, which means they actually untap each other when they attack. This is a lot of things here. My god. Oh my god. Let's see what happens. <laughs> so much artifact deck. You're right. Oh man, this is going to be the blowout of the century. Blowout of the century. I killed your whole board and dealt you a million. I guess you could keep your own speaker. And that's the end of that one. All right, well, that's how it should go, I guess. Uh, we could bring in Invoke. Haji Galashi, here's the, here's the curve if you were curious. second. So we saw Diamond Mare, which we don't really care about. We saw Sky Scanner, and we saw the A Explosive Apparatus. I don't think we really care about either of those things. So, and the Apparatus we're not going to be targeting because they're probably just going to sack it. Yeah, this hand seems fine. Uh, do I play Arena? No, I play Magic Online, good sir. I play Magic the way Richard Garfield intended it on Magic Online. Oh, hey, little... Little you. Oh, hey, you. Wow, this is a... What's Gadget the Mathering? That sounds amazing. Oh, that's a good card. I'm going to play Rejuvenator in the hopes that we hit a land on top. And we can Vivian... They missed a land drop? Oh, boy. If we play... If, I'm pretty sure if they miss a land drop and we go Vivian Reed... Uh, the game actually ends on the spot and the space-time continuum breaks. <laughs> Ortex, thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Uh, you play lands and I would never play Magic. I would play. I would never play Gadget the Mathering if it just means you have lands in front. Oh, boy. Here we go. And game.
let's attack first. Do we actually kill this? I mean, they could play like a 1-1 one, one and then turn it into a thing. Because it only costs one to activate. I'm actually just going to kill this now. And we have blockers for flyers if they have a flyer, so... Yep, that's fine. That's also pretty good. I will hit. I will get a land here if, if, if Magic Online. Oh boy, that's that's a tough one. I guess we just play Luminous Bonds. It's got to be this guy, right? Like, we're going to play Bonds and Skyscanner. I think we actually put this on the bottom. I'm going to play Skyscanner here because I don't want them to uh, find a way to get rid of that and then attack Vivian to death. Yeah, that's fair. Four activations, and we just get we just get the Leon and War leader. Yep, that's another another Snapperino. Oh, that's pretty good. Uh, I think I want to keep hitting lands here. I don't care about a Highland game. Now we're going to attack with both, because if they have a way to get rid of this, uh, Vivian can go to one. That's fine. I'll take that risk. Divination, not going to do it. What up, garlic bread? Six days till I'm off to basic. Oh, man, dude. That's too close. Uh, let's get rejuvenated here. One, two, three, four, five. We can play this and nothing else. I think it's Spider Courser, right? MTG Garlic Bread, enjoy your workout, buddy. Always good to see you drop in. Spider. Yeah, Vivian's pretty pretty epic. Any flyer they play, we just kill with Vivian, which is pretty good. My concern with playing Rejuvenator is that I don't exactly know where the uh, where the War Leader is at, especially because we've been drawing cards every turn. It could actually be, if it's here, then we would have actually Rejuvenated it to the bottom. Okay, so it's probably the next card, actually. Five. What are the odds this deck also has? <laughs> Let's try this. <laughs> they did choose red. <laughs> I didn't even notice that. Oh, that's good times. So we still have two flying blockers. We have two regular blockers. Yeah, that's fine. And I don't care about that much. All right, so it should be here, right? No. It's gotta be the next one then. Alright. Gonna keep keep on keeping on. No, well, alphaing is not an option. Hmm. 
Uh, give it to you. Theoretically, we probably could have attacked with Sky Scanner last turn. Six. I'm just going to play Twins here because it's basically the same as blocking with uh, Gallant Cavalry, but being able to give this dude flight is pretty epic. Float, as we call it. What's Vivian's ultimate do? It's pretty big. It's, it's game winning, basically. Uh, creatures you control get plus two, plus two, Vigilance, Trample, and Indestructible. Yep, there we go. 4 0 incoming. I'm going to keep this hand because it's got a Vivian Arena in it. What an idiot. He doesn't even have a second 4 us. So you can't even cast Vivian Arena. Literally 40 owed this man. <laughs> Not even close. Oh, look, we're just going to draw literally mono planes. Watch. Next turn's Gallant Cavalry, then it's going to be another planes. That's my that's my prediction. Oh, we did it, boys. Well, we've got a slow game going on here. So next turn we can Luminous Bonds. Turn off that we can read, and then hopefully... Oh, yeah, that guy's getting bonded for sure. If you play the first forest, then it can spread its seeds and eventually we'll have another forest. That's actually a good strategy. I see. I think Vivian's pretty safe to go to six here, but boy, who knows. Cleansing Nova. Oh, we don't have that card? I see. All right, here we go. I'm taking Sky Scanner here. Because next time we can go Scanner Gargoyle. All right. And before something busted. Yep, here we go. Of course it's Siegebreaker Giant. Of course it is. Why wouldn't you have that uncommon and the motivator to give it haste? Fantastic. Just fantastic. I mean, I'm pretty sure most other cards in this format for five mana. Let's look up five mana cards in this format that have six power. Just as a little experiment. Uh, so what are they? White and red. Power, we'll look up six or greater. At converted mana cost equals uh, five or less. And we'll look up creature and we'll look up magic 2019. I'm just curious now. First off, I have to find the, there we go. All right. Search. There are two creatures, Inferno Hellion and Siegebreaker Giant. All right, you're, you're right. It has to be five. So let's just see fives. Fire Elemental, which as far as I'm concerned, probably not really playable. Demanding Dragon, which is a rare. And then Inferno Hellion and Siegebreaker Giant. So there's basically two. Uh, yeah, I'll play this. Like, I don't consider Fire Elemental playable, and I don't consider Inferno Hellion playable. So it's either Siegebreaker Giant or Demanding Dragon at 5 power, in both white and red. So. It literally had to be either this guy, or the rare. Is this real? Sure. That's weird. Okay. Alright, well... Land, Hostile Minotaur, 2-drop. Well, didn't... That was their... They... No. 
No, I was on the play. They, that was their turn five. So they're not. That's not gonna have. That's not gonna be how that works. They they don't get a six land on their turn five. Okay. Yep. We're just done here. Ah, oh, boy. I don't even have the words. Yeah, I think our deck is fine. I think we just probably got a little greedy with our opening hand. I mean, I'm not even going to admit that it wasn't greedy. Like, Yeah, I was actually thinking of Isolate. Didn't they also have another one drop? Didn't they also play a second one? No, it was Sky Scanner. It was another one one, not a one drop. Yeah, this hand seems actually pretty good. Any land, we get to rejuvenate. Any other land, and we get to play Vivian. And Highland Game is... Big game. Uh, EA would have been an option. I don't think I don't think Wall of Vines is going to do it, though. Like, a lot of their guys have three power. Alright, this hand is actually great. Yep, all right. We're doing it. Sure. Oh, do I just play that? No, we're going to Vivian Reed first, and then we're going to play that guy with a rabid bite. Uh, well, I guess we're taking Angel here. No attacks whatsoever. Sure Strike doesn't give Trample, neither does Mighty Leap. Mighty Leap does kill Vivian, though. That's pretty annoying. But then we get to play War Leader Rabbit Bite, so... This is a situation where it's much more likely they have mighty leap oh but they didn't all right seems good vivian lives to fight another day uh crash through wouldn't wouldn't really do it that was an interesting choice Um, I kind of wanted to land here. No, we actually have a, we already have a land, I guess. So, so one, two, three, four, five. We're gonna play War Leader and Rabid Bite for six. Next turn we'll have seven, presumably. I think we just take Corsair here. We don't actually don't need the we don't need the the extra cards because we have Vivian, obviously. Um. Let's get rid of this dude. That guy is definitely worth biting, which is a weird thing to say. Is 
Yep. Not super concerned. Any of these ground guys that don't have any way to break through is pretty okay with me. I don't really want this trade to happen. So I'm pretty sure we actually just, one, two, three. I think we just played both of these guys. Maybe I actually don't care about the trade. We get two guys out of it. Nah, I think we're good with it like this. If they want to attack into Vivian, that's fine. I'll block with Corsa Rejuvenator. If they mighty leap on this guy to get through, uh, we're in pretty, we're still in pretty good shape. We can also just chump block here, which is totally fine. I will totally trade a giant spider for a mighty leap. And we get to keep Vivian alive. I think that's actually what they were going to do, and then they realized, oh, a giant spider has reach. So... This guy, huh? So let's say you have Mighty Leap. Was he 7 6? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So you can block with everyone, and it's a 2 for 2. If you have Sure Strike, it's just worse, right? Because then you get to take out everybody, and then we lose nothing. Yeah, I'm going to just block here and then assume we can attack with War Leader next turn. And give him Vigilance. Well, that's worse. But if we get to trade for a War Leader, that's pretty okay. And I'm pretty sure there's no situation where you don't trade here. Um, have we played a land this turn? So we have eight total mana. I guess it's just coarser here. That's pretty okay. How much damage do they take here? Like a million? Go to four? Hmm. Well, I think... Is game two or game three? Hmm. Okay. I guess he bringing apparatus in. Still didn't see anything for Invoke, so that's okay. Tree, wait, no, lol, I'm slow. Good good stuff. Good stuff there, Hodge Galashi. You're killing it here, buddy. Yeah, I think this is actually fine. I think our deck is good.
My gas park. Gas park. That's good. That's good. Oh, the old one lander. A classic. A classic. Probably not keeping this guy. Uh, this is a keepable hand. I want to put you on the bottom because if we're just playing you to hope we draw a land, like I'd rather just have the land. I mean, this hand is great if we can hit lands. Like, we literally have two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, well, that's not a land. That is a land. Wow. What even? That's a thing, I guess. Forest off the top. I mean, what are our options? Like, we mold a six, mold a five? Like, I don't understand what your suggestion is. Cool. <laughs> That's fantastic. Oh, your deck is amazing. Yeah, I can't win a game, though. It can't win a, it can't win two matches in draft, though, unfortunately. Hey, look at that. We did it. Do we just kill this guy or do we actually rejuvenate her here? I'll probably just kill this guy. Because any other lane we play Cavalry, getting that guy off the board is much better than having a Rejuvenator. Okay, we'll take one. Not great, but not terrible either. <laughs> sure. Uh... I also don't know what the deal is. Like, it just feels terrible. Like, consistently now they're just going to attack with this and lightning lightning strike us so is there a whole song on the lyrics from your old video intro when it rained uh yes there is you can google frank lepore rap i think and on youtube and it should, it should show up intro rap or something this card's great against angel uh if you have five mana um we don't, though, so we don't get to play it, which is unfortunate. Thank you. Dr. Funkburger MD, thanks so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. This is not the deck I would have expected to go 1-2 with, but here we are. Here we are. We actually kind of have to play this. If they have any removal spell, they can get... Well, I guess if they had it, they would have gotten rid of... If they have any removal spell, they get to get rid of our uh, blocker and deal us five. Because if we played second Rejuvenator, they would have three guys. If they get rid of one of our guys, we take four and die, so... Sure. Yep. Go to one. Now we actually have to deal with both things. So that's cool. Hey, look, it's a land. <sighs> yep. 
Yep, we're actually dead. We block here, double block here, block here, and we actually die to the stupid trampling. This is amazing to me. Sure, it's totally irrelevant. I'm tapped out. You have the win on board. All right, and one, two with our uh, sweet... Viv oh, that's cool. All right, thanks for doing that. Our sweet Vivian Reed, uh, Lean and War Leader, Double Rejuvenator deck, and uh, Double Luminous Bonds. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. This was not uh, one of our better drafts, unfortunately, but uh, I, I, mean, I, think, I think the draft itself was great, but uh, unfortunately, you just can't beat... Uh, the shuffler i guess <laughs> i feel like i feel like all of the games that we lost were literally decided on whether we hit lands or whether we didn't hit lands um but yeah either way thank you guys so much for watching really appreciate it. if you guys want to support the channel and support losses like this uh that that grant us no product and force us to uh, spend another 12 dollars on magic online to keep streaming feel free to slam those like and subscribe buttons feel free to check me out on patreon or twitch and uh, i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching